Hello, everyone. My name is Lian Duan, and I have developed for over 20 years specializing DevOps and cloud security. Today, I will be running a hands-on demo using Terraform Create AWS Elective Container Service Cluster. You can find the video related to Markdown and code files on my GitHub page. I have provided the links below for your convenience. Now, let's jump right into it. In this demo, I have divided the process into two levels, network and ECS. Let's start with the network level. There are a few reasons why we need to create a VPC in Terraform. First, avoiding conflicts. The default VPC is automatically created by AWS in each region of your account and is shared across all AWS accounts within that region. By creating a separate VPC for your infrastructure using Terraform, you can avoid potential conflicts that may arise from multiple users using the same default VPC. Second, customization. When using Terraform, you have the opportunity to define your VPC, subnets, root tables, security group, and other network components according to your specific requirements. Third, isolation and security. Creating a dedicated VPC for your infrastructure enables better isolation and security measures, latest portability and reproducibility. Terraform provides a consistent and reproducible infrastructure provisioning process by defining your VPC and related resources in Terraform code. You can easily replicate the infrastructure setup across different AWS accounts and regions. In network level, we'll cover five main resources, start from left to right. The first resource is the creation of the demo VPC01 with an IP side block of 10.0.0.0 slash 16. This IP side block configures a private IP wafer address range specified in RFC 1918. You can find more detail in the documentation provided. Uh, next, in the US East region, we create a public subnet demo public sub 01 with an IP side block of 10.0.1.0/24. Let me switch to the MX Toolbox website to calculate how many usable IP addresses in the subnet. Copy and paste the IP set block. Calculate. I have 256 IPs available in this range. Well, in AWS, the first four IP addresses and the latest IP address in a subnet are reserved for specific purpose. Therefore, in this AWS subnet, you can use 251 IP addresses for your own instance and the resources within the subnet. Switch back to the markdown file. The third resource is the public root table, which is used to route network traffic to the internet. Next, we create another public subnet with the IP set block of 10.0.2.0/24. The fifth resource is the Internet Gateway, which provides access to Internet for the instances in the VPC. Once the network resources are created, we move to Application Load Balancer and Elective Container Service level. In this level, we'll create an application load balancer and an electrical container service cluster. There are six resources created in this level. An application load balancer demo LB01 is created. Security group and target groups are created. Demo target cluster is created. A demo NGX task definition is created. Based on the task definition, a service with two desired accounts is created. Finally, a security group is created that only allows ingress data traffic from application load balancer. Do not worry about if the architecture seems complex. I'll break it down to six steps for you. 
First, make sure you have Carryform installed on your development box. I have videos available for both Windows and Linux installation. Also ensure that your AWS command line interface is configured correctly. In my case, the command line interface user is in the admin group. Next, in your project, you need to meet the certain requirements. For the network resources, I recommend watch the video AWS VPC Subnet for Beginners. It covers all related concepts. If you have any questions, please put a comment below. I'll try to answer. Use a different AWS user for the AWS UI, but make sure it has the same permission as the AWS command line interface user. The steps will help when creating AWS resource in Terraform. If you face any issues, you can compare the working resources in the UI with the Terraform created resources. Next, please follow my video how to create an application load balancer with AWS ECS Fargate. To create the application load balancer and ECS using the AWS UI. Finally, we are using the Terraform to creating the VPC, ALB, and ECS. The detail is in the main.tl file. Move a little bit down. You see all VPC, ECS, and ALB resources. I have included steps and API document links about each resources. I will create several videos to go through them one by one. If you do not want to miss any videos, please subscribe to my channel. Open command line window in the main.tl folder. Run Terraform space apply to create all resources. Yes, enter yes. The creating process take a time. You see the message 15 resources are created. Copy the load balancer DS name and paste it to the browser. If you see the message, hello, welcome to Terraform hands-on demo. It means the creation was successfully back to the markdown file. Do not forget to run the Terraform destroy when you are finished your exercise to save your money. Enter. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next time.